So one thing we might find when we're working with applications running locally on a machine on local host, little web server running, serving up the application, or we're on Docker and we've got Docker running on our local machine, we may be able to um, work with the application, test the application, use the application, but we may find that we can't proxy the traffic when it's coming through local host. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to fix that. So I have the browser pointing through uh, Burp Suite, and the only traffic that I can see here is the um, Chrome browser syncing, I'm not seeing the traffic that I'm sending through uh, from my local host application. I've got the tracks application working from Docker, it's sitting there working on my local machine. So how can I test this application and see the traffic that I want to see, not just the um, Google Chrome stuff. So what I have to do, and the easiest way to do this, and this is the approach that uh, will work pretty much on any um, proxy and um, things like Pro, uh, Fiddler and Charles have other ways of doing this. They have special IP addresses you can use, but I approach it through what is my local IP address and I'll use that. So the easiest way to get that for me is if I do an ifconfig, because I'm on a, a Mac, if I was on Windows, I would use ipconfig. And to just make it a little bit easier, I'm going to pipe that through into grep and say, I only want to see the stuff that says inet space. So there I can see my private IP address, 192.168.1.113. And if I put that in here, port 80, there we go. So now if I log in, I'm starting to see now all this traffic. So I can, uh, I can filter this now. Okay, so there we go. So I've added the proper URL in the scope. So now as I surf this and use this, I can see the traffic that I'm sending through. Because localhost is not necessarily easy to proxy, but my normal IP address, the proxy and the operating system are going, all right, you want to access an IP address, we'll use that. So if I'm working with an application running locally on my machine, I'll primarily use the what, uh, whatever the private IP address is that I find through ifconfig or ipconfig. This one is running through Docker, so this is just the easiest way of seeing the normal traffic going through my browser to the application. ifconfig or ipconfig, get your private IP address and use that to connect to the application.